Let's get move on. Oh, you want to move on now? Okay, Please. well, let's move on. Let's take a look at the Super Rugby Pacific table after 12 rounds, and we'll take a look at the top four because that is so important at the moment. The teams that are in the hunt for a home quarterfinal. Jeff, at the moment, the Blues, Brumbies, Crusaders and Chiefs are in there, closely followed by the Waratahs and Reds. Yeah, absolutely. You look at that table and you go to yourself, it's going to get congested. It's going to get challenging over the next three weeks, and you want to position yourself clearly to get a home quarterfinal, and the Chiefs right now are a team that need to find some momentum back in their game. No different the Reds though. I do like the direction that Waratahs are heading. I've got a power rankings coming up a little bit later. It's the clear and obvious six right now. I still think there's going to be a bit to play out here. Joey, given the, the fact the Blues, Brumbies and Crusaders, they've got to play each other. You know? yeah. So there's something... Uh, and this is obviously clearly where we look at it. Where I'm, moaning, where I'm saying, look at the difference between 7th and 8th. <laughs> like, do you seriously think we should be having a top 8? But look, look yeah, I, I do. it doesn't matter. Like, for me, oh, I'm happy to finish 8th. You've got to beat the Blues some, uh, somewhere along the finals night, so why not do it in the quarterfinal? Uh, do me, you answer your question? Them early. Absolutely, absolutely, because what you don't, and such, this is a short competition, there are not a lot of games, you do not want to eliminate teams from the playoff exactly. picture in 5 or 6 rounds if they don't get off to a positive start. You need the opportunity for teams to work their way into the season, otherwise all of a sudden it looks loses its purpose very, very quickly. You're right about the top seven though, JK, but how exciting is it that bottom that bottom half of the table? Guys like they're jostling chasing, for right? places all the, the time. Every game matters. I think the positive for me is the incredible improvement from the Australian sides. Mm -hmm. I mean, a few weeks ago we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know what the distance were, what was going to happen last year, the same this year, and they are playing very well, the Australian sides, I believe. I mean, the Reds have dropped off a wee bit, but the Brumbies and the Waratahs are going really good. They're playing really good football. Well, the Australian media right now are claiming two victories over the weekend over Kiwi teams because of Moana Pacifica as well. But after the Brumbies' performance, do they deserve to have that confidence about them? Yes, totally. Um, they were very, very good. Um, I think what I was impressed with was their incredible, and I don't know a lot about this, Joe, because I never went to a ruck in my life, but um, <laughs> they were incredibly accurate, incredibly disciplined, and they were very, very patient. And with that patience, they've got enough X factor now to really put the, the Chiefs weren't bad, I didn't think. They made a few uncharacteristic errors, but they were actually very good at, at times. Yeah, I, I, they're the real deal, this Bumby side. Gone are the days of the. You know, kick for the corner, penalty, roll their sleeves up, go to another mall. Their scrum rely heavily on set piece and penalties to get in the right end of the field. They now have those X Factor players that were talked about, Goldie, that are genuine line breakers. They're actually creating and they're, they're using, the, they're putting some air on the ball, which is, which is awesome to see. They've, they've got the balance of their game really nice. Nick White is mm -hmm. a phenomenal yep. um, driver of this team, and he does it better than anyone. He is and the what key. A he is the key. <laughs> <laughs> as good as that. You're yeah. a man for detail. You are. Oh, you I reckon he needs a bit of, bit of that wax. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, wax up. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, stunning. he's fantastic, Goldie, and, and he is the key to that side. And for them to come over to um, to Waikato Stadium and and to put in a performance like that, that is a significant shift. They are the, they're, they're a title contender for sure. So we talked about the Reds not having Tani Tupo, no James O'Connor. What do the Chiefs not have right now available to mm. them? So Anton Leonard Brown Brody ruled out for the season. So that's significant. The fact they didn't have Brad Weber looks as though he's on the way back next week. Brody Retallick not too far away. Josh Uwani all of a sudden a different impact coming off the bench. So I think there's a number of things I think I put in perspective in this performance. I expected probably a little bit more from the front eight mm. of the Chiefs. They just didn't have the control I expected up front, which to me suggests this Brumbies team are a team that are a real deal for me, Kirsty. The fact that all of a sudden the way they are playing also is impressive, and this could be the formula for me. If you're Dave Rooney to be looking at, this will be the core of my Wallaby side because they collectively look on ch on tune. Well, they're putting pressure on the Blues now, aren't they, to take that top spot? No. <laughs> Wrong person oh, I'm forward to that game. No, they are. No, totally. They've got two big yeah, games two coming big up. The yeah. Crusaders in Canberra and then they host the Blues. That's right. That, that, that's going to be telling as to where they are at. Because we know how good these two forward packs are from the Crusaders and the Blues. And to go to Canberra, we know it's a bit of a fortress for this um, this Brumby side. If they can front against those two, that, that's where we're really going to get a gauge on. If, well, I think they are genuine title contenders, but... I, I agree. Sat. I agree. I was only joking because the, rea the reality <laughs> no, you is, the reality <laughs> is that, like I said last yeah. night, really competent at set piece, really good yep. scrum, put 
put the Chiefs under pressure. Uh, really competent at ruck. Good kicking game. I mean, they outkicked the Chiefs last yes, night. They so they are the real deal. And I think they're going to come through these next two games and it will be incredibly you know, competitive. Oh, that's why I want to ask you, Kirsty. You were there working on that game, right? How did it feel to you in terms of the fact that their presence at the game, in terms of even the way the crowd was reacting to, obviously, an impressive performance? I think it was good. It was good that Australia are actually coming to the party now, right? This is what we've needed from the competition. They obviously want their team to front up and to perform. It wasn't to be, but it was a good game. It was a solid game of rugby. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we should feed off that, yeah. that how, how strong this competition can get to if we start seeing these results. Now, look, there's, there's no, no... You can't ignore the fact that the Rebels took a beating, absolutely took a beating. The Force did as well over the weekend. They, they themselves will be disappointed with their ability to back up week on week. But the signs from the big teams uh, have certainly been there when the big players are available. And teams, I think those Australian teams still suffer when they go through injury, when they lose key players like the Reds have. Well, you three have had your love affair with your team, so time for me to have a little bragging moment. Quinta Pye, can we talk about him being back in the midfield? How good was he? Yeah, well, I, I thought he was OK, actually, Kirsten. I, mean, I think his attack Just OK, was, Joey? Yeah, his attack was outstanding, but defensively, I, I think... Yeah, he missed a few tackles, which was surprising for me. I think that's probably his, his work on, is, is his defensive work. But we all obviously know he's a brilliant attacker. But on the other side of the ball, I, I was yeah, a little bit underwhelmed, to be honest. But um, I, I think he's got some real growth that he needs to... You know, probably you, you, you've caught Kirsty on the hop there because oh. you know because I mean, I'll go to someone is, else. You go to someone else. Jay, you go, to, go to JK. What did you see? Well, Joey played lots in the forward, so but I actually agree with him. No, I, I think that um, you know it's been a hard year for him, and he needed to get back and he needed to have a strong game last night. I think he has ups and downs during the game, and. What I've seen from him is definitely all black material yeah. Yeah. and he can definitely go a long way but he just needs consistency around the little parts of the game. But I think it was a really big statement from him last night because he's been young. under selection pressure. Mm -hmm. Exactly, only young. <laughs> only young. Um, but you know, age has never been um, something that we've worried about when we're talking about whether you're going to be an all black. But he certainly, mm. I like what he brought on attack last night. I'd just like to see him back that up next week. I'll support you, Kirsty. Though the fact it was his best, it was a best, his best attacking game of the season. He was creating for the players around him, which is something we desperately need in the midfield. Yeah. Okay, well we've mentioned it. Only three rounds to go of the regular season before we're into the playoffs. How yeah. can it be this time already? But you're going to go through your power rankings. Excuse and me. <laughs> Did we not show the blue? Why do we show the blue? Hold we're on, doing every player. Much. You're getting your moment. You're going to oh, get your moment. But give Jeff hey, it. That was time. Friday night. This well, is wrong. It's only it was an hour Friday show. night. It's only an hour long show. <laughs> it's only, it was Friday. Friday night. Look, I did my power rankings about a month ago and I looked into the form and, and what's coming up for the teams and we've got three rounds to go and so I thought long and hard about this before the weekend and thought to myself, this is how I felt <laughs> going in and then all of a sudden a couple of results happen. So I'm going to throw them up straight away. Here they are, where they sit right now and look, we've discussed where a lot of these teams are at. The Waratahs to me on the back of three really good weeks and performances, I think they're the big mover out of the Australian size. You'll say the Brumbies, well they were already there. The Chiefs, they themselves, they're still sitting in that top four position. They've come up against some really good teams who are playing some really good footy. And last night, I think, was a big step for them. Crusaders, they stepped up when they needed to. They needed a big result. 30 minutes, though, uh, they still weren't in control of the game. It took them a while to get some momentum, but they welcomed back Wichi Moonga. And so I think that will help them going forward. But this is where I think this is actually a lot closer than I thought when I originally put it down. <laughs> and if I'd had my time again, Given the fact the Brumbies are going to have the Crusaders and Blues at home and the way they performed last night, I'm just putting the Blues only just. I, I, I'm 1A, 1B right now. And the fact that those that two teams... That is the most ridiculous thing I've heard. You either have your power rankings, mate, and you live by it. You can't say, oh, no, nah, sorry, I want to swap the Brumbies out for the Blues. No, you well, can't do well, that. Well, no, I think it's more on the fact seeing you face-to-face, -face, I've decided you're feeling way too comfortable <laughs> with where the Blues yeah, are like at right now. And all of a sudden... 1A and B, I, yeah, what's 1A that? 1A and B, because then I started looking at the draw, and I think to myself, this Brumbies team, and you know how difficult it is to go and play in Canberra. That is not yeah, an easy no, trip. And they'll be looking at that game going, you know what, if there's one game now they know they need to win they just win that one game against the Blues that swings all the momentum in their favour and this is a great franchise that has been really strong for a long long time you're only just tasting have success at the Blues <laughs> have you only finished? just tasting success have you finished because 11 tries 
11 tries on Friday night.